All right, so listen. All right, so now we get to move to our, we're, we're going to have, give our time, a little bit of time here to our new person, Kat Kerr. Uh, so glad, Kat, that you're here. Uh, and I want to introduce you to our audience. And Kat, one of the things I must say after talking with you uh, several, I guess it's been a month or so ago now, is that Kat is totally convinced of what God is going to do. Do you still believe that, Kat Kerr? Do you still believe that God is alive I and do. on the throne? That is my answer to that question. As a matter of fact, I'd like to know how many out there actually think he does exist. Yeah, Having known him for almost 70 years, when I received Christ at age four, I'm a seer, so I saw him step inside of me, and my relationship only grew with him over all these years. And he's shown me uh, many times things that would happen, and they came to pass. Now, I can tell you, some people can't be chosen by God because they can't believe for anything past a week or two weeks, which makes me laugh in a way because there's some things I waited 40 years for him to do, but guess what? He did them. And he assured me back in 2015 that Trump would sit in the White House for eight years. And I actually got to pray for them during the inaugural prayer breakfast back in 2016, and he made me prophesy that. And God has assured me today when he walked into my room and woke me up at noon, almost noon, 11.55 a.m. Um, I'm up for like 20 hours a day, and sometimes I go to sleep, sometimes I don't. But I always had my alarm set for noon, and it didn't go off. God did. Mm. And he came in, and he yelled as loud as he possibly could, justice will prevail. I will not listen to the stuff, the, the acts, because they don't know how to put a show on. Hell never has put on a good show. This is still God speaking. Hell has never put on a good show. They've always lost the seats they went after. They lost whatever they were pr- planning to do. He said, I kicked them out of heaven. That was the first show. Lightning was striking. They were kicked out, unseated, and stripped away from power. The second show was in hell on the third day, mentioned in Colossians, when my son stood up and released the fire of God from himself and melted the faces of the hierarchy of hell and made a show of it openly. And he said, the third show is still in rehearsal right now. He said, the enemy is fighting so hard, he still has not won. I don't count it as a win. He said, I will win, and Trump will still sit in the White House for four more years. If people cannot see beyond their own nose and understand that if they believe I'm doing something, they should keep on trusting. He said, but I'm about to put a show on nobody expected. And he said, when the ground begins to shake, And the landslide begins to start. No one or nothing can stop the fraud, the contracts being shown, the videos that are being made between the parties that made contracts with evil to do evil in this land. This is my country. I will not allow it to be taken from me. This is only the beginning of the great days, the great divine decade, and a second one behind it. I'm setting up and setting in place during this very time, when you should remember, I will always set a table in the presence of your enemies. Have you asked for that table? Mm -hmm. Because I'm about to fill it. I will expose and wipe clean the platform that they're trying to stand on right now. And Trump will have to be inaugurated. They will have to say it. Even though they don't want to, the time will come and they will have to say, Trump is the 46th president of the United States and he will sit in that office for four more years. I have never changed that plan. I have never given an exact date to anyone when something would happen because I have my own time. Whether it agrees with yours or not, whether you like it or not, this is my country. These are my plans, and I will not have these days taken from me. Can you not stand and not turn to the left? And give yourself as a partner to the evil that wants to take this land. Well, I say no. It will not happen. It will end and it will be done because I say it will be done. Watch my hand move. Now that man is done with their process, I will put my show on. And no one will ever forget when that happens. There will be great celebrations in the streets of this country and around the world. That great victory has come on behalf of the body of Christ, on behalf of my America, that I'm not giving up. 
to any enemy. So be ready to see what will happen. Regardless of what they show, the lying, frying news and the liars and the stealers and the takers will pay greatly for what they have tried to do. For they will fail and fail greatly in every way because that landslide will pull every one of them down and justice will be served, says your God. So stand in the light or run to the darkness, but nothing will stop me from my plan at putting my son, Donald Trump, back in that White House. Even if they inaugurate the villain and try to put him there, I will kick him out. I will remove him, and I will remove every obstacle that's in the way. Maybe they'll show that in the news, says your God. Yeah, amen. I agree with that. We're going to see God show up. And I, I was looking today... Amen at every one of those uh, people resigning. There was a lot of resigning going on today in the White House and President's Cabinet and people getting out like rats leaving the ship. They really felt like they were, <laughs> they were done. Uh, so I wanna ask Kat the question that keeps being asked to me. They say, well, Kat, if you prophesied eight years, is it that it's four now and four later? No, no, it is not. It's four continual years and get ready for some more impossible things to be said. God did choose Pence for eight years after Trump's eight years. And he has not changed his mind about that either. Uh, amen. Amen. We agree with that. And I people will be replaced. It will be already knew there would be people that would be exposed during even this time that Trump had to know were not actually for him. Even some in his administration have to be replaced. There will be changes made, but God will make sure they're made for the light. And there'll be so many people going to jail, this is his words, going to jail or prison. They will begin to fall upon each other and gnash at each other. He said they have no foundation, the left, the wicked, the evil. They have no foundation to hold them together. They can't even hold their day-to-day -day activities together. They can't hold their own words together because they come from the enemy. Mm -hmm. The enemy has been a loser from the beginning. He will lose again, and all those who joined him on this journey will fail, and they will fail greatly, and they'll lose properties, and they'll lose positions, and they'll lose money. They'll lose face, and that goes for even some of the Christian leaders who joined their team and decided to abandon what God wanted. They will lose their voice. They will lose their platform. This is a serious thing. And yet in all of that going on, God's answer to people is he has not changed his mind. And he will do exactly what he has purposed to do. He has enough people who've prayed, enough people who have fasted, enough people who have fasted and met him at his face. Not just here in America, but literally globally for the first time, millions of people in the body of Christ have come together for one thing, for America to remain with God. And God said, I will not ignore those prayers, nor those tears, nor their worship. I couldn't do it and be a just God. Therefore, I have permission to act since I gave the earth to you all to rule and reign with my son. I have all the permission I need to act, and I will act. And many will run, many will try to get out of the country, many will try to hide, but it won't work. Because I've already positioned in my heart who will lead in this country, and even those who will stand beside Trump that aren't there now. But I will have the righteous stand with him together in agreement, and you better watch your words. Your words count, and I am writing them down, says your God. Amen. That's why it's, we, we here, we've been taught for decades the power of your words. 